weren't going to keep her here. We were gonna quarantine her and then take her up to Los Angeles to be fostered so that she could be adopted out. And so we brought her home on a Wednesday. And then on Friday, we went in to do our normal check-in on her. And she was curled up in just this tiny, tiny little ball. And I had no idea. I thought, well, maybe she was getting worse. So I put her in the carrier, drove her out to the vet, and the vet took one look at her and he said she had distemper. Most people don't realize that one of the reasons that cats die from distemper is their temperature drops below normal and they go into shock. So we had to keep the room really warm. We had to keep her in there for two weeks, double quarantined. The other thing that distemper does for felines is it strips their stomach lining of everything so they, they can't process food. Through all of that, she almost died twice while we had her in the bathroom. Uh, she was so pathetic, and we just, we decided we had to keep her. I mean, we just fell in love with her. So at that point, we called Siamese Rescue and said, we just want to adopt her. I was the first one who said, we're keeping and all this one. We opened the cage, I was lying on the bed, and she walked right up my my stomach and kind of bit me on the chin. I always give Sandy a hard time because I say, this is my kitty. You may have taken her from me. You know, you may have weaseled your way in, but this is my kitty. Yeah, in some respects, she's probably a daddy's girl. I've never had another cat like her. She, and I've had cats all my life. She just, she loves life. It reminds me of that Bruce Springsteen song where he said, it ain't no sin to be glad you're alive every day. She just acts like she's happy to be on this earth. I think Susie is a survivor because she fights every day. She constantly battles with head colds, sneezing, runny eyes, and she's a trooper. We call Susie T-Roll, short for turkey roll, because she's just this little, short, round, tubular kitty on short, stumpy legs. That's what she is. There you go. I'm, I'm guessing her personality would be pretty much the same had she grown full, full strength, because she was a friendly cat before this. I think it's just, she's just friendlier, probably. Susie, come here. So sure. What aren't her quirks? She loves her name. So even if you just say, you don't even have to say Susie. If you just do an S sound, she thinks you're talking to her. She's just, she's super sweet. Susie, 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 Susie. Anybody who's stayed with us for a long time, we always have to check their suitcases to make sure Susie isn't in their suitcase because they all want to take her home. She's a pretty big part of this family. I just, I can't imagine losing her. We've had Susie for 12 years, so hopefully we're gonna have her another 12 years. Thanks for watching. For more heartfelt stories of hope and rescue, check out the petcollective.tv.